What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Christy Mack, and I'm back with another video. You guys, your girl has officially hit 11 months. Do you know what that means? That means next month, I'm gonna hit my one year mark with my new kidney. I'm so excited, I'm nervous, I'm just like full of feelings, but I am so grateful to my brother for giving me just life, this opportunity to even be here, you know, doing these videos for you guys, because without him, none of this would be possible. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over what's been going on, what's been changing, how I'm feeling, just giving you the tea. So if you guys are interested in videos like this, or you know someone that's interested in these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all the best kidney-related advice and to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys, it has been a beautiful journey. These last 11 months was everything and more. And honestly, I wish I was able to travel and go places and do things, but I know because of the times that we're living in, I just need to sit back and relax, okay? Because that time will come. And I just wanted to start this off and just say, you know, everybody that's maybe battling out there, you know, that you are definitely in my prayers. You guys know you can contact me if you have any questions. I'm here for you guys. But I wanna remind everyone out there to continue to be safe. You know, we are still battling COVID. We're still battling stuff. The flu season is really about here. So just continue to be safe, do whatever you need to do so we can live long, right? And that's what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm drinking my ginger tea, but I'm doing everything that's possible so I can just continue to enjoy the life that was given to me. So that means, you know, you guys know that we just finished up the holidays, Thanksgiving. I didn't do anything this Thanksgiving. You know, how about you guys? Let me know. Did you have any plans this Thanksgiving? I stayed home. You guys, I'm a big baby. I'm scared of all this craziness that's going on in the world. So I stayed home with my husband and my two boys and we just, we didn't even have a traditional Thanksgiving. So we did a crab boil. You guys know I can eat regular food again, but you know, um, we just had a crab boil. We hung around, we watched Christmas movies and we just chill, guys. It was a beautiful Thanksgiving. The weather was great. So as you guys know, I needed some Christmas spirit, something early, like with all of this COVID going on and everything happening, it's a little depressing. And so I put my Christmas tree up early this year. I put my Christmas tree up. You know, I have the lights, I have the music. I needed some positivity in my life. So that's what I did recently. I put my tree up. Um, I stayed at home, and so I am taking advantage of all the sales that's going on because when I tell you there's been a lot of sales, there's been a lot of sales. So I pretty much got my Christmas shopping done. I did all of that online. Guys, you don't even have to leave your house. You know, between Amazon, Walmart, Target, just everybody bringing everything to me at my front door. And then you could do your returns if you don't like it, I mean, can't get better than that. I don't need to run around Black Friday shopping. I didn't need to do any of that stuff. I did all of that by a click of a button on my computer. So I hope you guys are taking advantage of that and you're doing that as well. Um, what other things have been going on in my life besides just some good Christmas spirit, holiday spirit going on? But you guys, so let's talk about my medication. So I told you guys in my previous video that I was starting to get weaned down off of Prograph. So now I'm officially on three milligrams of Prograph just for a couple more days. And then I'm going to one milligram until January 9th. Once January 9th hits, I am done. I'm no longer taking that pill. So once that is over, the only thing that I would be taking is my Celsep. So with my Celsep medication right now, I am taking a thousand in the morning, thousand in the evening, then my prednisone. I know there's a lot of people here that say that they do not take prednisone. My hospital has me on prednisone for life. Um, these are the things that I'll be taking forever. So I'm on five milligrams of that. 
I'm also doing the Bella infusion. I'm actually going to be going to the hospital um, in a couple of days to do that. So that's once a month, you know, every 30 days I go in, I sit in the hospital, I do this IV just because I don't want a rejection. Remember this kidney's not mine. It's my brother's. He gave it to me. Thank you. But I want to keep it as long as possible. So that's really all the medications that I'll be taking and that's it. I have no reaction to the medications or the Bella infusion. Everything's been going really good. So you guys know, um, when I was going through the transplant process, they were a little hesitant about the whole giving me a kidney because they said, well, you know, um, Chrissy, you don't really take your medications like you're supposed to. And I'll admit, I didn't. You know, at first I was controlling my lupus. Everything was fine. So I'm like, well, why would I take these medications? And then you guys know I got pregnant and it just went all downhill from there. So because of that, you know, my kidneys got shot and it was just a mess. And so I hated taking medications. I had to take blood pressure pills. I had to take all types of stuff. And I just, I didn't really listen. So don't be like me, okay? Take what you need to take so you can have a long, healthy life and you don't have any issues and maybe you could, you know, stop what needs to be stopped. But I felt like I could have done better in regards to that. And we all know that I have talked about that in previous videos, but it is what it is, right? And so they were a little hesitant in giving me the kidney, but I told her like, listen, I got two kids, I gotta live, okay? Like, this is not a joke anymore. Somebody's giving me a kidney, like I'm gonna take what I need to take. and. I was nervous because I used to have a lot of reactions to medications and to be honest, I've been fine guys. I've been fine, I had no issues whatsoever. Um, I'm not breaking out, I'm not having diarrhea, I'm not like nothing, I'm fine. So I'm gonna continue to take my medication so I can live. So let's see what else um, has been going on. So I talked to you about that. Um, my hemoglobin is up, so you guys know from my previous videos from the dialysis days, even before dialysis, I've always battled um, having my hemoglobin so low to the point where there were times where I actually had to get a blood transfusion done. So my hemoglobin is at 11.5. I know for some of you guys, you're gonna be like, well, that's low. Well, for me, that's great, okay? Because I have battled you know, hemoglobin as low as six. I think I even was at a five, which is, like, I mean, you could pretty much die, I think. But honestly, I have just continued to build that up. It did drop a little bit. I talked to you guys about that in my anemia video, which I'll probably pop right here so you can see um, that I've been battling that. And I started taking Geritol. And a lot of you guys may not be familiar with that, but that's just something that, you know, people in the Caribbean used to talk about. You can get that at Walmart, you know, CVS, any of those places. Um, I'm not giving you guys any recommendations. I'm just telling you what worked for me. And so I just started taking Geritol and ever since I've been taking Geritol, my numbers have just increased. And I feel like I have a lot of energy, which is really good because shit guys, I have a lot of stuff going on in my life. I, I can't be stuck in my bed tired all the time. And so when I take Geritol, it gives me that boost of energy. I feel good and my numbers are good. So I'm gonna continue to um, take that on a daily basis. I feel like I should just like do a whole video about that, right? Because I mean, Geritol should hit me up because like I'm constantly promoting their stuff. But it's stuff that works, guys. You guys, I'm not here to promote anything or you know tell you what to do but i'm just want you to know that that has completely like changed my life that i have been taking this consistently my numbers have been increasing and i've been feeling great so that's that's a good thing so what else has been happening let's talk about my creatine levels so everybody always wants to know you know what are your creatine levels now that you had a kidney transplant so on average my creatine is usually at a 0.8 to 0.9 so i actually just got some labs done a couple of days ago and it said that my creatine was at a 0.8 which i'm very happy about now the highest that it's been since i got in a kidney transplant was about a 1.3 something like that. And so my kidney transplant team called me and said, hey, what's going on? Why is your numbers creeping up? Like, we have to watch this. So the girl was like, guzzle down some water. 
drink lots of water. So you know on dialysis, I wasn't allowed to drink. Well, now I have to drink lots and lots of water because you gotta remember, I'm taking all these medications, they're toxin, you know, we wanna make sure the kidney is functioning correctly, so water is healthy for us. And so I guzzled down the water, I drank so much water, and I went back like maybe two days later, I redid my test, and it went back down. And that was in June. So that was a couple of months ago. And since then, it's never been at that level again. It's been at a 0 0.7, 0 0.8, but average 0 0.8. That is really where my numbers are. And so I'm really happy about that. So that's letting you know my kidneys are functioning, all my electrolytes, everything is great, guys. I mean, I have no problems where my levels are at currently so guys you know i'm still working out so you guys know i officially am back at my regular weight before dialysis before all the craziness happened look how much like my face has filled up i feel like i feel good and i've been working out because i have to maintain that so with all these medications the weight can definitely pile on quickly and you guys know i was personally trying to gain weight and i did now i want to like stop okay so i set up my gym i'm gonna show you guys that i in my little gym it's just you know a spare bedroom that i had nothing too fancy i have my bike um in the corner by the window i have um a flat screen tv that my husband put up on the wall and it moves with you it's one of those full motion so if i'm like doing the treadmill um, not the treadmill, sorry guys. If I'm doing my rowing machine, that's what I got. I got a rowing machine so I can, you know, start to build up some upper body muscle a little bit. And also I just put like a mat. So when I do my yoga, my stretches, um, just whatever workout that may be on TV, I wanna do a lot more workouts. And so I wanted a room that de designated just for working out, just something to entice me because you guys, it's cold. It's starting to get cold outside. Now this weather is a little bit bipolar, okay? Because one day it's like 70 degrees, next day it's like 30 degrees. And so today is about 30 something degrees, I'm 40, and I'm not walking these parks. It's just not happening. I do not like the cold. Yes, I live in the cold, but I like to hibernate. I'm always inside when it's like the cold times. So this actually allows me to still get my workout on and still stay fit in the middle of winter. So I'm so happy with my room. Um, I don't know what else to get right now besides like maybe a bench, but I wanted to keep it just simple, just the key items that I'm going to be needing to work out on an everyday basis. So I work out about five times out of the week. On the weekends, I really try to just spend time with my kids or you guys know I'm constantly working. I've been working on um, our program behind the scenes. I'm the behind the scenes person. I put my husband to the forefront, but I do all the tech and all everything for my business is run by moi. But you know how that is. You know, behind every great man is a great woman. And so I run all of that because I am the techie in the relationship. So what else has been going on with me? Also guys, you know, I also have family members that are battling COVID-19 currently right now. So I just ask that you guys say a little prayer for them. You know, this is just what we're going through. And, you know, I just ask that they push through and, you know, it seems like, you know, things are heading in the right direction for for that person. So, you know, you know, God answers prayers and I'm just grateful for that. But other than that, guys, you know, that's really been what's been going on in my life. I am now starting to figure out what I'm going to be doing. So we are approaching Christmas. It's my son's birthday. He's going to be turning 10 and I still don't feel like I want to gather with people. So I still might keep it intimate, but on my one year mark, you guys, this has been big. Like I had a whole big shebang of what I wanted to do. I wanted to go on a trip. I wanted to just live life to the fullest. Well, that's not happening. So I'm probably just going to get with the key people. You know, we all get tested first, but just have like a nice dinner with my mom, my dad, and my brother and my husband and just, you know, reflect on this last year. Just, you know, give God praise and just be thankful for the little things in life. And I'm so excited and I'm so blessed that you guys have been watching all of my videos and coming throughout this journey with me since 
before the kidney transplant, right? And so I'm just grateful for each and every one of you guys. I love you. And don't forget to connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook at Chrissy Mac. Um, I love interacting with you guys. You guys know anytime you send me a message, I always reply, right? So if you want, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'm here for you. I want to support you throughout this journey. Otherwise, guys, that's really it. I hit my 11 month. I'm going to see you guys when I hit my one year mark, 12 months, one year mark. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support the channel. Otherwise, guys, I love and appreciate you. See you next time.